Tony Todd's funeral service will be held on November 20th, gathering friends, family, and admirers to honor his memory. The ceremony will take place at the peaceful Greenwood Memorial Park in San Diego, California, celebrated for its serene landscapes. The service will commence at 11 a.m., with a private burial for close family members at 12.30 p.m. Attendees are encouraged to arrive early to share memories and celebrate his remarkable life. A reception will follow at the Parkview Banquet Hall nearby. Tony Todd's net worth is valued at $6 million, which will be inherited by his wife, Fatima, and their two children, Alex and Ariana. His estate includes several real estate properties and a range of stock market investments. Tony Todd, a distinguished American actor with over 100 film and television roles, including iconic performances in the Candyman series 1992-2021 and the Final Destination franchise 2000-present, passed away at his Los Angeles home on November 6. He was 69 years old. On November 9th, Todd's manager, Mr. Jeffrey Goldberg, confirmed his passing in a statement, though the cause was not disclosed. Todd's career, spanning decades and crossing genres and mediums, featured standout roles in numerous films. His credits include the 1990 remake of the horror classic Night of the Living Dead, The Crow 1994, The Rock 1996, and Oliver Stone's Oscar-winning Vietnam War drama Platoon 1986. His television work included roles in Star Trek, The Next Generation 1987-1994, The X-Files 1993-2018, and 24-2001-2014. He was also well regarded for lending his deep, resonant voice to various animated series and video games. Perhaps most iconic was his portrayal of the titular demon in the 1992 film Candyman, a role that cemented his place in horror cinema. If I had never done another horror film, he said I could live with that and I would carry this character. Todd returned to his iconic role in Candyman for its 1995 and 1999 sequels and reprised it once more for the 2021 reboot, directed by Mia DaCosta and co-written by filmmaker Jordan Peele. In the Final Destination franchise, Todd portrayed the enigmatic funeral homeowner, William Bloodworth a rare recurring character in a series known for eliminating each new cast of characters before the credits rolled. Born on December 4, 1954 in Washington, Tony Todd earned his master's degree from the Trinity Repertory Company and trained at the Eugene O'Neill Theatre Center in Waterford, Connecticut. He began his career in political theater, which he described as his first love in a 2020 interview with The Times. Todd gave his time and resources to aspiring actors, consistently advocating for greater representation and authenticity within the industry, Mr. Goldberg said in his statement. In a social media tribute, American actress Virginia Madsen, who starred alongside Todd in the original Candyman, described him as a poetic man with a voice easy to swoon to. Madsen noted that Todd was a rare actor who embraced being open to public attention. In a 2020 interview, Todd shared that around 30% of his work was in horror, and that he would return to theater whenever film roles began to feel too repetitive or uninteresting. He also remarked that when he first began his career, he would often arrive on set to find that not only was I the only black actor, but I was also the only black person in roles that anyone should have the opportunity to do, if not for nepotism. He noted, however, that things had changed over time. Now he would find people who looked like him on set including those who knew how to apply his makeup and light him in a way that addressed the industry's past failures in properly capturing his skin tone. Just the joy that occurred, he said finally being allowed to the dance. As Candyman fans mourn the death of Scream King Tony Todd, his co-star Virginia Madsen addressed the horror hive. Shortly after Deadline reported that Todd died at age 69, the Oscar nominee reacted to his passing with an impromptu video statement she shared on Friday with her Instagram followers. My beloved, May you rest in power sweet to the sweet in heaven, Madsen wrote in the caption. The great actor Tony Todd has left us and now is an angel, as he was in life, the more later but I can't right now. I love you. In the video, Madsen said, hey you guys, I just 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 found out about Tony and I will I don't know what to say right now, but yeah, I know about it. I will say more about my beloved Candyman. Anyway, thanks for your kind wishes. Based on Clive Barker's The Forbidden, Candyman 1992, directed by Bernard Rose, stars Virginia Madsen as Helen Lyle, a skeptical grad student who becomes the target of the titular hook-wielding spirit played by Tony Todd while researching urban legends at a Chicago housing project. Todd's representative previously confirmed that he passed away peacefully at his Los Angeles home on Wednesday, November 6, though the cause of death was not disclosed.
for portraying the heroin-addicted Sergeant Warren in Oliver Stone's Oscar-winning Platoon 1986, Tony Todd became a prominent figure in the horror genre. He starred as Ben in the 1990 remake of Night of the Living Dead, a role originally played by Dwayne Jones in George A. Romero's 1968 classic. Todd went on to lead three Candyman films and make a cameo in Nia DaCosta's 2021 requel. Additionally, he appeared in the Final Destination franchise as the funeral director William Bloodworth. Beyond his career, Tony Todd was a passionate advocate for change and a mentor to many aspiring actors. He believed in the power of storytelling to make a difference in society, and he used his platform to speak out on issues like racial inequality, social justice, and the need for more representation in Hollywood. As an actor who had experienced the challenges of breaking into the industry, Todd dedicated much of his time to helping others who came after him. He was known for mentoring younger actors and encouraging them to remain authentic in their roles, even when the industry tried to box them into certain expectations. Todd's personal life was relatively private, but he was deeply dedicated to his family. He was married to Fatima and had two children, Alex and Ariana, whom he cherished deeply. Todd was known for his humility, always keeping his feet on the ground despite his success in Hollywood. He often spoke of how his family played a central role in his life, and how his career, while important, was secondary to the relationships he cherished with them. Tony Todd may have passed away at the age of 69, but his legacy as one of Hollywood's most versatile and influential actors will live on forever. His ability to bring depth, nuance, and dignity to every role he played has set him apart as one of the greatest actors of his generation. Through his work, Todd shaped not only the horror genre but also the way black actors were represented in Hollywood. His voice, his performances, and his advocacy for change have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, and his story continues to inspire future generations of actors. From Candyman to Platoon, from Star Trek to The X-Files, Tony Todd's career was as diverse as it was impactful, and his contributions will be celebrated for years to come. Tony Todd was also well-regarded for his television work. He appeared in numerous hit TV shows over the years, further solidifying his status as a highly sought-after actor. His television roles included guest spots in popular series like Star Trek, The Next Generation, The X-Files, and 24. In each of these roles, Todd brought his unique gravitas and ability to portray complex characters. In Star Trek, Todd portrayed the character Ken, the brother of Worf, a Klingon warrior in several episodes of the series. His time on Star Trek allowed him to delve into the realm of science fiction, a genre that, like horror, provided ample room for him to showcase his acting talents. Todd also made memorable appearances in The X-Files, where he often played characters caught between the supernatural and reality. His appearances in the 1990s cult series only served to cement his status as a versatile and reliable actor comfortable in both dramatic and fantastical roles. Additionally, Todd's voice acting work was another dimension of his talent. His deep, resonant voice became a signature element in numerous animated series and video games. From voicing characters in shows like the Batman animated series to his work in video games like the Mortal Kombat series, Todd's voice became as iconic as his physical presence on screen. So, what are your thoughts? Like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.